guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you all my take on Bibi Girl's Vogue pictures and it's the one where she's wearing that gorgeous plummy wine lip. And yeah, I'm not going to babble on too much and I'm going to get straight into it and show you guys how I recreated this look. I started off by priming my eyelids with Shadow Insurance by Too Faced and this is so that my eyeshadow doesn't crease and it stays vibrant and put all day long. The whole eye look is using the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette which is this one here but the first colour I'm taking is Silk Teddy and putting that all over my eyelids so from like my eyelashes up until my brow. Um, and this is just a really nice shimmery base colour, exactly like what the girl was wearing in the Vogue picture. I added a bit of honey pot on top of just my eyelid. Um, so this is just the part which covers my eyeball, if that makes sense, because the girl had a bit of a gold shimmer to her lid. To define the crease, I used Cashmere Bunny, which is this beautiful matte coffee colour and put that into my crease and just worked it in so that there was a nice kind of 3D effect to the eye. I love using a matte transition colour, especially with shimmery eyeshadows. It just gives the perfect blend and creates a really, really nice eye look. For highlight, I actually used this Heaven colour, which is in the top left corner, and put it into my brow bow and then also blended that into my inner part of my eyebrow. Then I gave it a good blend together with a fluffy brush. For eyeliner I used the Maybelline gel eyeliner with this really thin brush that I picked up from Hobbycraft over the weekend and it's super 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 thin so you can get like as precise as you want or you can make your eyeliner as thick as you want and you can really build it up and I've actually fallen in love with it. I think it's the pretty much the best eyeliner brush I've ever used and it was only like £3.25 which is such a bargain. I then added a really kind of intense flick at the end of my eye because the figure had a really gorgeous wing eye. So I'm just slowly building the wing up, really, really slowly, and yeah, just making it sure that it's nice and straight and nice and neat. I then brought the wing slightly in into my lower lash line like you can see here and as always I'm tight lining my eye by using Perversion which is a gel eyeliner by Urban Decay and I love this stuff because it doesn't budge and it's super 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 intense and it's like the blackest black you can possibly find in an eyeliner. Here I'm just curling my eyelashes so that they're nice and curled ready for the mascara and for mascara I'm using the false lash telescopic mascara and yeah just putting that all over my top lashes and also my bottom lashes. Now on to the face. So for primer I use the L'Oreal Lumi Veggie Primer just because it gives a really nice glow to the skin and I didn't want my foundation to look too dewy so I thought this would be the perfect thing to use under as a base. For foundation I went for NARS Sheer Glow and the reason why I picked this one is because Libigo had quite a matte look. So yeah, I'm just blending this in with my Beauty Blender. And another reason why I chose this foundation was because that it has quite good coverage and it's also quite um, matte and it's not very dewy looking which is kind of like the perfect look that I was going for. For concealer I used the Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer and just dotted this around underneath my eyes with a brush and then went and blended it all out with the Beauty Blender so that it was nice and blended and it gives you kind of like the flawless finish effect. I wasn't using a highlighter in this look and this just does concealing and highlighting in one go. 
um, because Lipica didn't look like she had a very contoured and highlighted look. Then I set my skin with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and just put this all over my face with my Real Techniques um, powder brush. Because Lipica didn't have a super contoured look, I'm using the L'Oreal Glam Bronze Bronzer and just slightly kind of putting this underneath my cheekbones and around like my forehead and also my jawline and just blending that really well so that there are no harsh lines and everything looks really nice and blended. Libby Girl is wearing a supernatural blush so I used Dolce Vita by NARS and just popped this onto my cheeks and kind of dragged it a little bit into the contour so that it was blended. And again, so that there were no harsh lines, just blending that all in with the Real Techniques powder brush. I then used Silk Teddy and Honey Pot just in the inner corners of my eyes, just to brighten that area because the big girl looked like she had quite bright inner um, tear duct kind of area. So yeah, I just used the same colours that I used on my eyelids and put them there. For lips, I used a mixture of NARS Vesuvio and Shameless by Revlon. And I started off by putting the red colour onto my lips first and then layered it with the purple on top. And just to give you guys the full effect, I already had curled my hair and put it in pins. And here I'm just taking it all out so that I have really nice gorgeous like Hollywood waves. And then adding a side parting and putting all my hair to one side and then that's it. The Lipica Vogue inspired look is complete. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and please do give it a thumbs up if you did like it and would like to see more Bollywood videos and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all my social links are in the bottom bar and I will see you guys all in my next video, bye!